Hey! Hey! Oh, she's fine right there. She's fine. I just wanted to get my camera real quick so I can record this. So, now she's good now. Alright guys, this is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuccia and we are going to downspool this um, Accurate 80. Uh, where is that line? There it is. And we're going to downspool it because we're going to re-spool it so we can mark every 500 yards on here because the customer wants line capacity markage on there. But he's already got 130 pound test on here. However, uh, he's got some 150 pound uh, diamond hollow core that he's going to put on top. But what we're going to do here is by downloading it, and I can put it back on the line counter so that way I know where every 500 yard mark is, and we're going to mark it with some permanent marker. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team But I need to get this over here and Get it going They just told me it was a, uh, it looks like a uh, diamond quarter. Yeah, no, it does. It just, I'm asking because, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fucked it up, boy. Well, no, they got it tied to the little, the little thornillo there. Oh, there's a, a needle on there? Yeah. No. And it's already, it's already starting to oxidize here on the outside, too. Uh, no, no, that's our product. No, stay over here. Got some oxidation on the spool there. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is color with some permanent marker just to help it a little bit. Obviously, it's not a permanent fix, but it'll at least give him some uh, a little more life on the spool. Hey boss, I'm blacking out your spool on all the exposed areas mm -hmm. to try to help it keep from oxidizing more. This season it'll really get bad, but you should have almost no trans. You'll have a little bit of transference to the line, but by the time I get all set up, it should be all dry and ready to go. I did scrape off the big chunks that I did find near the your little tie down spindle or whatever it's called, the screw. <clears throat> I did see a, a real, I'm thinking it, it was a real dark spot in the brake when I was down spooling it. I think it's a real tight area of the weave where it's real super tight. I'll find out when I get there. 
Y'all yeah. planning to go out today or what? Nah, I just want to get everything ready to settle and ready. There you go. So it's well, good. I might go for tomorrow if the winds are all right. Call, call, call. They said it's supposed to be bad today, gusting or something like that. That's yeah. what another guy said. I think I think your housing's a little loose, boss. Yeah, because I'm, dude, I'm tight here. I'm tight there, and see how it's, it's flush against the, the housing uh -huh. down here. You can still see. Look, watch. You'll see it more when I when I crank. You see it? See the whole spool move? Uh, the reel moving? Uh, it's just tightening up the screws at the bottom. I just wanted to show you that. Oh, and there's okay. The what? The foot on there? Mm hmm Well, it's not. It's not the foot. It, it the the screws back here. Yeah. A little loose. Yeah. There's a little turn, but still a turn. Yeah. Nobody has any that are green like that. Oh, shit. Yeah. That. Yeah, it may be that real foot, bro. Because even then, it's still. Uh, it's still teeter cottering away, and I got it all locked down. I forgot to do. Yeah, yeah. I forgot to do something real quick. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Oh, she can, well, yeah. she, if you give her a rag, she can do it. I already got that on video, so. Okay. A lot of people are calling about that Hellcat rod now that I did that, but they want the longer rods, and I'm like, yeah, I don't blame y'all. I'd be the same way. How's that? Uh, I see you got that uh, tight line. Dude, it's awesome. Is it? It is, dude. I'm, I'm really, really. Oh, if it's I've got. From, if, it's, if it's coming out your mouth, I mean, I guess it's good. Dude, those two have tight line on it already. Yeah. That, that's what I was using at Goose when I took. Uh, what about for like, on the beach? For yeah, sure? dude, it's already on. It's on the top two on the 130 and the 80 T Rex underneath it. That's not the Corlin? No, that's tight line. The oh, Corlin wow. is brighter. See how it looks whiter? All right. Yeah, because it's already fading. With the circle hook ones, the, are we just using a one that says popping cork here and everything on it, Hi. or is there a? Yeah, the, the, the no the oh I haven't created one for the circle. Yeah. Or, uh, or does it have with hook? No, it don't say nothing on it. Okay, then I need to make those real quick. Hi. Hmm. Hi. 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 What's your name? I remember my daughter was like that. She, she want to come talk to everybody. <laughs> it's a good thing and a bad thing. It is. It is. It's, it, it's both. You know, they they ain't judgmental on what or who you look like. It's just being human. You know. Yeah, but like the first time you ever really got to talk to her, oh, you know, she looked and boom, dressed and everything. My my a bunch of my nieces and nephews. Well, my yeah, both nieces and nephews. They'd see me, they would just start crying. <laughs> like, I ain't even done nothing to you. But all their, their moms and dads would bring them to me and stuff like that. And then even one of my goddaughters, uh, she, uh, 
she wouldn't come near me for a long time. And one day, uh, I was sitting there watching a movie, and uh, she goes, you watching a movie? And I said, yeah. I said, you want to watch a movie with me? She goes, yeah. She came standing right by me. I was like, I looked at her dad. I was like, <laughs> he's like, oh. So we put on a cartoon. We sat there and watched a cartoon together and stuff. And now, now she's, hey, uncle. And she comes by and stuff. Oh, there's that that dark green line, red line, or whatever I was talking about. That's gonna be real interesting. Yep. Oh no, it's loose. That's real loose, but it's all. Fisherman's place is one. That that one we have not started. I didn't even did the print out for it or anything. And then um, that's the one I forwarded to you. And then we got. Uh, Bank bucket. You said Causeway. Causeway. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even look at that order yet. Yeah, they do. They ordered a crap ton of weights. Yeah, no, dude, do you want to check it out? Yeah. I thought it was a tighter weave, but no. Or yeah, it is tight right there. See how it's real close together? Mm -hmm. But you come over here and you squeeze it and the weave opens up, see? Maybe in the just just discoloration and the the coating on it, but you can tell right there it's super tight. See how close it is? It's yeah, open and then it gets real tight. Yeah. See, and and I want to cut those areas out because I don't know if that's a weak point because putting the weave really tight does it make it weaker or does it you know? I, I want to know. I don't know either. But is it right if I cut it out and put a splice that way? rather be safe than sorry yeah. and then later on when I get my uh, testing gear then we can find out if it you know if it is a weak point or not um, I'm getting this machine to, to where I can hook up uh -huh. and and when it pops it'll tell me exactly what weight it popped at uh, pressure point yeah yeah It, it's not for me, it's just uh, it's, it's <laughs> all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Five hundred yards right there. Alright, here we go. 
758 yards right there. And now we're going to splice in to here to this 150 pound uh, Diamond Gen 3. What do you say? The 50 pound, uh, the Pompadour rigs? Mm. Do you want to send them half and half or do we send them in 136 it just says Pompadour? Do, th do 36 of soft and, and, hard. and hard, yes. Okay. through you can see right there that real tight weave and then the loose weave yep glad it's 150 now let's see if I can get the uh, the braid through that spot We're at 750 yards with the uh, um, the 130 Diamond Gen 3. Now we're going to 150 of the Diamond Gen 3. And this is braid and line brought to us by the customer. So putting it on there for him. That's a thousand yards and counting. That's 1,500 yards right there. And it looks like I'm coming up on the top end of his line right there for uh, that he doesn't want on there, which I think is perfect because we're about to top out on the spool anyway. So I think we'll be golden. But right there you can see all the twists in the line. What they come out to? I didn't even look, bro. Oh, okay. Everybody had the hashtags on the bottom, so I just closed it. Beautiful. Oh, look, there's another burn mark in there.
Uh, one burn mark, one fray. But it's already to the top end. Go ahead, go ahead and call him in. There's your top shot right there. Yeah, you got a bimini twist to a worm nut or a splice. Yeah. Nice one. Time for a new blade on my cutter. Oh, it's a reverse latch loop. Okay. There we go. Alright, so what do you want me to do, boss? We're at 1652. stick with hollow core bro i don't even use mono at all for that and the reason being because when i do get cut off i'm more than likely to find my hollow core but i ain't you'll never find mono floating yeah that'd be fine just like that yeah okay i mean i've got mono to throw on but i'm just saying it, it you're gonna lose three yards to every one yard of mono of rate. guys so I'm at sixteen fifty two and he's yeah, still got bro. plenty of room for, for braid on there. You know what I mean? You can see the whole full spool right there. Yeah. 